What's up y'all, um, in today's video I'm gonna show y'all the simple custom system that I made that is obviously free to use. So yeah, so over here we got two parts. So I pretty much just made like two options for this custom system because like in case you wanna like re uh, replay it and if you don't so this is the not re like replaying one. Replaying? Okay whatever. My English is not perfect y'all, not my fault. And this one uh, is replayable. So if I go and trigger this one, slow um, camera animation. Write your dialogue here. And there we go. After the, after the um, dialogue is gone, it uh, smoothly like gets the camera to your player again, and you can't trigger it anymore. Now this one, you can trigger it. And then uh, after a cooldown, you can trigger it again, and you can all customize all that in the main script. I'm gonna show you in a bit. Sorry, it works pretty much the same. It's just that you can trigger it again. Make sure to subscribe. That's the most important thing. And there we go. See, you can't trigger it now because of the cooldown, and then you can't. Oops, and there we go. <laughs> I'm already up a bit. I mean, I heard it. I, like, I don't know. I'm stuttering a lot today, and I'm not like even saying the words correctly because I'm nervous. So, like, first time talking instead of like just putting captions and stuff. So, um, let me show y'all how y'all can like add more like dialogues and stuff. All right. So, y'all want to go into the main script inside of the um, custom GUI and then main script. So, when you're here, um, as you can see, I already wrote cooldown in seconds for replay enable games, cutscenes. Now, if for example your um, cutscene part 1 doesn't have the replay option enabled, then um, you can still keep this, like don't, do not delete it, it's not gonna like affect anything. And um, I forgot to mention, uh, the way you can trigger if like the stuff is like, the triggers are able to like be replayed or not, uh, you go into each of those parts, for example cutscene part 1, and then there's a, a value called replay. So it's not uh, checked. So if don't check it uh, if you don't want them to be replayable again. But check it if you want the cutscenes to be replayable. So how to add more dialogue? Uh, it's pretty simple. You just copy like this, click here, click here, and press enter. And then just copy and paste it. Now, uh, so for example, now we are making um, cutscene part 3. So you can just select this one, those two, duplicate them, drag them somewhere, I don't know, and make sure to rename both parts to your, I don't know, number count or something. Okay, there we go. Now go to the main script. And change it here as well. So for me, it's cutscene part three, and then you see over here, cam part two, cutscene part two. Change it all to your number that you're doing. I don't know. Uh, and now you just change the text to something. I don't know. I'm just gonna put some gibberish or something. I don't know. <laughs> um, and now for the cutscene part three, I'm not gonna make it to be like replayable. So I'm just gonna deselect it. <coughs> And now, when you try the game... There we go, it works. So, it's very simple, and I think it's really useful if you want to, like, <clears throat> make some games and stuff like that. So, yeah, the link, in this, the link is in the description, and... Yeah, make sure to subscribe to my channel and join the Discord, because um, I always upload all of the assets there, like... The first second I upload them to Roblox, I post there on Discord that I uploaded it and like send a link. So yeah, thank you for watching and goodbye.